safe in the game. I heard the stories. That was a great headline. Tell all you want. We've got enough mouse to How goes the search? That's it! Proof that Valeria missed something. I'll have to listen to you now. If you can convince them of Brilgor's innocence, then perhaps Ilmata could shed one less tear this day. Nothing more against Father Lorcan. I've nothing against Father Lorcan. You want to let those thugs get away with this? Those thugs work for the guild. They can get away with whatever they like. Please, if you could just... We have the Duke's full support. Fascinating. For the good of the people. How are we fixed on supplies? Sound off. Always ready. They're damn near chomping at the bit. What's the plan? How many red caps are missing? Refugees traveling. Think about it. More than a hand here with no coin and nothing to do. How many You're red going to hire all the refugees. Really there now? Just like that. To see the city. Of course. Up on the hill. Cleaning, cooking, construction. The police have to do it. Haven't you got anything better to do with your time than harass innocent craftspeople? What? How? Nine hells. Whatever you think you know, I, I, I'm sure some gold would help you to forget. Please don't! What do you want from me? It's not my fault! I was forced to do this! Framed, even! They would have killed me if I refused to rig the toys! And they're definitely going to kill me now! I can't tell you! I won't tell you! All right, all right. Just don't hurt me. The teddy bears were an experiment. My greatest invention. A clever little device in their chest allows them to speak. But there's more. Smoke powder. Inside the device, I collect packages from Veloga's fireworks in the lower city and stuff the bears with it. Not because I want to, because I have to. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll kill me. I, I don't know who's in charge, but it starts at the fireworks shop. That's where the packages come from. Go there, tell them Uncle Felogia sent you, and they'll show you the smoke powder. Lots of it. There. I told you what you wanted to know. Uh, now, will you let me go? His plea comes with an offering. A pass granting you access to the lower city. You can't be serious. They'll find me. A cell won't keep me safe. They run this city!
All right, all right, I'll go. But if I'm found hanging in my cell, it'll be on your conscience. That's an order. Can't slow you down. Anything you want for supper. All the treats you take and handle. With haste. You can see the city. Up on the hill. What do you get out of this? How many red caps are in there? A handful. Enough to clean Crimson's cave. The absolute army on this way. Not a chance. What's the hard way to get there? You're the same. I'm fine. You're the one who's 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 the one Heavens! Fancy seeing you here. Tara! That can't be you, can it? I suppose you won't be terribly shocked to find your old friend Tara amongst the pigeons. They've always been a personal favourite. My, is that a ring? For us? Oh, you shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. Did you hear that, Tara? Um, stop it. Well, these must be important birds indeed, Mr. Decarius. Forgive me for feasting on their bodies and bones so very voraciously. Oh, she's agreed. Just about. Might be useful. His methods need to rest with him. By allowing his faithful to suffer the most. Time to press ahead. Can't slow down. You 
got yours. It's I need you to step back. Material. There must be something. Ah, are you trying to get into the city? Got a minute to tell me about your experience at the gate today? There was a skirmish a few days back. A band of absolutists came close to entering the city. People started panicking, so the gate got closed. My editor at the Boulder's Mouth Gazette sent me down to get a first-hand account of the chaos. He wants some fluff piece about the heroic steel watch keeping the mob at bay, whether or not that's the truth or not. That the refugees here are desperate, hungry, scared people. They're no mob. They just want to be safe. I've heard the rumors. Absolutists marching from Moonrise Towers. Whole towns felled by strange curses. It's no wonder they ran. Of course, I can't write any of that. My editor only releases stories his friend Lord Gortash approves of, and he's very selective. Oh, they know some of it. Most would rather bury their heads in the sand anyway. Saves them the bother of feeling responsible. I'll try and get the truth across. Who knows, maybe a line or two will meet Mr. Needle's approval. I won't be holding my breath. Sorry, can't talk, I'm on a deadline. There you are. Good. We need to strategize. Wolbrin is planning something. Uh, lots of moving parts. Uh, I'm still trying to suss the details myself. Uh, some. But what he has planned is... unthinkable. Maybe you can help him see sense. Someone has to. Seems like a good moment to talk. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst-case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you. I hope. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch. They're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change. Freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime! And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it! They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. 
They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the Watchers are on us like flies on shit. Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and boom. Problem solved. Wolbrin, please. This is too far. Everyone in the foundry would be killed. Quiet, Barkus. The adults are talking. It's liberation. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. There is no other way. But I believe in second chances. When you come crawling back here, and you will, we can talk. A rune powder bomb? Huh. What the devil has he become? You'll hear no argument on that score. But using rune powder on the Gondians? They are inventors, just like us. The snickety and self-important, too. But we all have our moments. Something is wrong, very wrong. You did well, refusing Wolbrin's proposition, but I fear he'll find some fool who'll plant his bomb. The Gondians deserve a chance to plead their case before being blown to pieces. Please, find out what's going on. That's all I ask. Questions first, violence later, and only if absolutely necessary. Gondians respond well to reason, so when you meet them, be reasonable. Locked, but there's no keyhole. Must be a switch or something nearby. Another horde of refugees this morning. When's it gonna stop? White ring. We're not getting past that checkpoint without the right papers. I don't care how big they were. I'll give them a piece of my mind. Suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet? You, you read it. Technically, that's interfering with someone else's property. I should report you to the nearest manip. Tell you what, give it here, and we'll say no more about it. I'll give you a nice little bonus as well, a, a finder's fee. What do you say?
fine. Just give me the letter. Forget you saw anything. This never happened. Go on, bugger off. I, I have a business to run, in case you hadn't noticed. Gortash. Refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? I'm afraid Article 30.1.7 stipulates that religious or spiritual assertions cannot count towards one's proof of self-sufficiency. I will repeat, for the last time, may I add, do you have means to support yourself? Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? I'm doing the questioning here. Last time. Name? Well met, citizen Fluffington. Your parasite stirs. From the construct you feel connection, resonance. I am a steel watcher, citizen. Here to serve the people of Baldur's Gate in the name of Lord Enver Gortash. State your business. Uh-huh. Eyes open, body still. The Watcher will communicate with our new intelligence directorate. They'll determine if you're a threat to the city. Upstanding citizens have no reason to fear. And you are an upstanding citizen, aren't you? Behind the Watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Whoa. My engine, it's almost, I don't know, buzzing. Like it's paying attention. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare, as witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers, and the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly, or die. Please comply now, citizen. I will interpret any further hesitation as resistance. Eat this, you pile of junk! Good man, how God damn it all! Recovery is Find imminent. Bastards, or I'll have your heads! I don't mind it. Honestly. Teresa's is cool. What path lies before me? Um, hi. 
Hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Oh. If the child's desperate enough to seek safety in our company, who are we to turn her away? Yes! You've got a fire and everything! I can cook really good! Whatever you want! Thank you, thank you! Good time for a chat. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. It's certainly good to be back at camp. How I've missed the smells. Indeed. And I'm sure Dringo will do a great job. He always took good care of me. What's on your mind? Really? Really, really? Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. <laughs> it's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer? I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. <laughs> I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. <sighs> Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. That all seems powerful. Why does Bronze Cross have do? so few lock-ins? Nothing good can come of it unless it is contained. Why? It might be useful. Great! Who knows? We can bond with ten other people and pray none of them has sticky fingers. Better off sleeping in the gutter than that dead. That might be worth it. I found so many victims for the Cazador here. They're the kind of people no one would ever miss. Come to Baldur's Gate, he said. Adventurers get welcomed as heroes, he said. Poxy Drim and his bleeding notions. It's bloody ages we spent hiking from Murren. And they won't let us in the city proper. Bollocks. We're adventurous, damn it. You're damn right. I can't believe they wouldn't let us in. The bridge guard had some shite about a. Uh, Coronation. Couldn't really make head nor tail of it. Oh. 
Word to the wise. Give that ill mate to Temple a wide berth. Rude buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. Does that excuse being rude? Excluding folk? Come off it. They wouldn't let me in. Spouted some tripe about my sort and absolutist murderers. I only wanted to sit down a minute. Sir, good, sir. Give me three days and... Oh, I... Uh, apologies. I thought you were someone else. Uh, greetings, so forth, so on. The landlord, Sir Frego Antuna. A, a most generous soul, I assure you. That's an iniquity. We should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. I only need one more mark. We have enough for the master. No more needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there, ready for me. And once the mass is done and our Lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Casador promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian! It... It cannot be. Oh, that's no way to welcome back a brother, Dahl. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. You, you can't mean that. He's playing mind games. He can't raise a hand to the master, let alone kill him. You have no idea what I can do. Why does Casador need me? What is he planning? Ah! Ah! Brother, please! You heard them. Tell me what I need to know. Now! The Master is preparing the Black Mass beneath his palace. There's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time, hidden from us all. Keep talking. The Black Mass. It will be his triumph. He'll complete the ritual and emerge the Vampire Ascendant. He'll walk in the sun. He'll be free of the hunger. He'll wield power no vampire has ever possessed. Best of all, we'll join him. His loyal servants, walking in the light as living vampires, will be free, brother. <laughs> you can't believe that. You can't be that stupid. We deserve this, Astarian. Can't you see? We've given him everything. Our blood and tears. And he's finally going to reward us. And you will be with us when the time comes. It's fate, written in your very flesh. Yes, and they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Casador's bidding. I pity them. Still, though, a living vampire. Hmm. Yes, but only because of the parasite. This would be true freedom. Freedom from the hunger. Freedom to live a real life in the sun. No tadpole required. 
And if I were to ascend instead of him? Freedom from Kazador, once and for all. It doesn't feel like a lie. It feels like exactly the kind of power Kazador would chase. I have to know. I have to face him. Then we'll deal with it. It can't be worse than everything else we've faced. And now we know he's skulking beneath his palace. We can take the hunt to Cazador. All right, let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. Swift as my feet can carry me. That shapeshifter's key unlocked the door. Interesting. Shapeshifters. Father Logan's name is written here too. There, by the bed. Someone spilled some blood. Those organs in these vials. Yuck. some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. You notice the blood's source, a body hidden under the bed. regards you lifelessly. Seeking answers. My boy had a secret. Evil secret. Killed folk. remains silent. It does not know. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. I know this game. It 
It's identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. Private rooms. Nervous, but don't worry. And all Everyone has a folks. Stop. 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 St